cooking in the vestibule of a tent. Now, a lot of people say that you can't cook inside a tent, but those people have never camped in the snow with a vestibule. When you're camped in the snow, it can be, well, it becomes completely necessary to be able to cook because sometimes you'll need to melt the snow so you can have drinking water. I'm in my tent now, and I'll just turn the camera around. This is the vestibule section of the tent. As you can see, I'm snowed in. Just cooking here with a snow peak burner. There's my dinner. Pasta. Continental. Sour cream and chives. There's my backpack. Inside the vestibule. The vestibule of the tent gives you a bit more space to just keep uh, items that you don't actually want to have inside with you. Just shine the tent down here on the floor, and you'll be able to see this black mat I've also have here. It's a piece of EVA foam because I am camped on the snow. It can get extremely cold on the floor of the tent. Now, on top of that piece of EVA foam, I have a thermarest mat, quite a thick. Thermarest, uh, woolen socks, Gore-Tex pants. I'm wearing this big puffy green down jacket and my homemade long neck balaclava made out of a ladies merino wool uh, business suit that I cut up. But I had a um, had an alterations expert cut out this merino wool jacket that I picked up at a second hand shop and the water is boiling here in the tent we have boiling water stick that boiling water into my smaller titanium pot grab the old spoon out let's start stirring this around oh yeah could go a little bit more hot water in there, I think. Here's my hydrated peas from the supermarket. No name brand, probably about uh, $2 for 200 grams. great thing about hydrated food is it's so lightweight and up here in the mountains there's no shortage of water so you just mix water with the hydrated food and then your hydrated food becomes almost normal food almost so basically the way that vestibules work and the reason that you can actually cook inside a vestibule is because the floor the floor of the tent well there is no floor in the vestibule you would never cook actually inside the main tent section because well, the floor of the tent is plastic. But out here, as you can see, the floor of the vestibule is just snow. And there's even a bit of a gap underneath the vestibule there, a bit of airflow happening on both sides. Tent down there behind the backpack. And I have the vestibule door open. Later on tonight, I'll just close that vestibule door before I go to sleep to block out the wind. But there is plenty of airflow in here to allow cooking. You just have to be really careful that you have a reliable stove system because there have been stories of people with stoves that are not reliable, stoves that have sort of engulfed in big flames and that has then caused the vestibule to melt, catch on fire and look, the whole thing could escalate into a massive disaster because you might end up having to spend the whole night in the snow with no tent. That would not be fun, particularly if it was raining and snowing. It's now about 7 a.m. We must have had about 15 centimeters of snow overnight. Every hour or so, every, every roughly every two hours, I think I had to just shake the tent to just clear the snow off the tent to stop the tent from collapsing. And now, I'm cooking breakfast, there's the porridge, it's got a bit of water boiling here, well, 
it's going to boil soon. And after breakfast, we'll go for a bit of a hike up the mountain. <laughs> 